Hey guys, so today I want to check Android 4.3 out a little bit here, the official variant that is starting to roll out now in Germany. Uh, Germany is the country when I'm doing this video <clears throat> where it's been out or it's out now officially and it will launch in other countries as well. So you might be crying and be like, well, Android 4.3 only, well, the new Nexus phone from uh, Google and LG, it's gonna have 4.4 KitKat. Yeah. But that's because Google is making Android and Google uh, on their phone, their Nexus devices, they always bring out the latest version of Android. But we're not going to see that at the moment on Samsung's devices. So no kitty cat at the moment. Okay. But we will be taking a look over here at the new boy here. I flashed the firmware that's out in Germany, even though I live in Sweden, so I can make this video. So you can see here that uh, it is the um, 4.3 and it's the German variant here because you do get some uh, <laughs> some extra apps here. Then uh, build my taxi, Kaufdal, sounds Germanish, uh, HRS hotels. Uh, so let's go into the settings area here and you will see the interesting stuff. So if you go in here and then go down. Oh yeah, we have the Jelly Bean Boy. I mean, this is the official variant as well. I uh, made a video earlier, I think about Android. Was it Android 4.3 or something? I don't know for sure, but uh, I did a video. You can see how pretty it is. I mean, little Jelly Bean guy. I mean, it looks so cute. It looks so cute, so pretty, yeah. Okay, so let's continue this video. So you can see here, it is the firmware XX UEMJ5, okay, <clears throat> or something like that, okay. Uh, so, most of the things that you will see here, uh, you won't see any major differences here. Let's take a look here at how this menu looks. Uh, I mean, they made some minor tweaks across the system, but I'm gonna go over the big things. But let's just take a look across the UI here. Reading mode. Wow, that doesn't need us. That is definitely a new thing there. The reading mode thing. And this is how it looks inside of this area. Uh, but the new things is first OpenGL 3.0 support. So it should be better for gaming, I think, or just for benchmarking, I guess, also. It has support for Samsung's latest Galaxy Gear, which is Samsung's first like smartwatch. Uh, it has trim support. Uh, which should mean a faster device and then it also has ANT plus support which I'm really not sure what it means but uh, it's something uh, you get the new Samsung Knox app uh, which uh, if you like to root and stuff then this might not be something for you but Samsung Knox is a comprehensive mobile solution for work and play uh, in Samsung Knox container you can use preload Samsung Knox applications uh, for security reasons there may be restrictions on moving data so uh, there, this is an app that you need to download, but uh, it should add some security from what I can understand to your device. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, so that's a neat thing. You also get default here, Samsung Wallet, which we're not sure what it is, but uh, you should be able to like pay maybe for stuff. Sounds like you save all your tickets, memberships and coupons. Uh, yeah, so you can save stuff, you can save money, or you're probably going to spend more money, but uh, Samsung Wallet, that's that's a new thing inside of there. Uh, what else do we get? Well, we should also get better RAM management, so you can see here that uh, it's taking up around one gigabyte at the moment for me. If you clear the memory, 35 applications, go down to around 800 megabytes, it seems to be staying there, but it uh, should be better RAM manage management from what I can understand from Sam Mobile. And then the display should also like uh, be better, have like better color accuracy or something from what I can understand as well, which um, I, I can't see. I mean, I don't have a second the S4, so I can't uh, show it uh, side by side with Android 4.2.2 which I have been running uh, before. Uh, TouchWiz should also be more stable uh, in terms of uh, crashing less. So, of course, that, that that is a nice addition. So when you exit and go in and out of apps, it should be more stable as far as I can understand. So uh, that's very nice. Well, it's slow as hell now. 
Slow as fuck. No, wait a sec. Yeah, it's probably because it's probably because I have to reconnect my my account here. Just because I used flashed it, so let's see here accounts. Yeah. Usually you do get you do get problems with the Play Store and stuff the first time. Uh, when you flash, so I probably have to restart this phone or something. Uh, you should, you should, uh, from what I've understood as well, get on your keyboards. Let's try it here again. If we can open up this, let's just see here if we can force close. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so uh, you should get a new keyboard. I'm really not sure what is the big difference here. Maybe they, they have rearranged it a little bit, maybe more spacing or something. Uh, because across the UI, they should have uh, a little bit of more, uh, some minor UI tweaks like dialogues and the contacts app. Uh, so that is pretty cool. Uh, another little thing here is the browser, which default now goes into, let's see here. Yeah, the default mode here of the browser is full screen mode. So uh, you can see it goes full screen and don't freak out. You can just do a tab like that and you can see the whole menu up there. But uh, it will go full screen by default, which I'm really not sure if you can change. Uh, let's see if we can just switch here to the desktop view always. And I can just load that thing up. Let's see here if we can and do a fun little thing here. What was that one I was thinking to do? Let's go. Oh yeah, they do have this interesting thing here with the new tab system. Looks so much better than before. So, can we do something like this? No. And then you should be, just be able to swipe to remove pages and then you can see them a little bit in the background. It's good that they have improved that system because the, the old one was really, really horrible. Uh, incognito mode, of course, if you want to search for porn, you want to do it secret, and that's a, that's a good way. That's a good way to do it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's just exit out of that. Oh, you can't exit out of incognito mode in there. I need to like close the tab, what the fuck? Maybe that wasn't that good of a change, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, but Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to, that always loads the desktop view, yeah. Yeah, it still looks good, it looks so good. Uh, can you load up the page? Oh well, this website is a little bit messy. Sometimes you can't load up the stuffs. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's, it's a little bit random, a little bit weird. Uh, but okay, there we go, it loads up. You can see here, it has to do some re-rendering, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, that reading mode is pretty interesting. What does that even mean? Reading mode has been turned on. The screen is now optimized for reading. Okay. This mode is only available in selected applications. Sweet. So I'm not even sure if it's available for this application. But the problem is, wait a sec, do I see a difference here? Um, okay, let's try to disable it. Yeah, wait a sec, wait a sec. Did I see that difference? I think it could have been started to become a little bit sharper. The hard thing though is to see here. Well, it's super hard to see. It's super hard. It feels though it's a little bit slower here, a little bit more smooth re-rendering back, but still feels like it should be a little bit quicker here. Like, I'm getting a little bit pissed off by that. Of course, you have the browser reading mode you should be able to have still. Let's see here if we can load a full page first. There we go. So you kind of get that this is a nice mode here to read all the text, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the firmware uh, for camera, also the first time you load up the camera, uh, with this new Android 4.3, uh, it will install a new firmware for the camera. So some camera updates as well uh, shouldn't be something that you are gonna hate. You're probably gonna enjoy it. And I also think I feel it here that some better frame rate than before probably, even though it was already good before. 
but now it feels like it's even more dope, uh, which is definitely awesome. And I can feel that it feels super quick and everything, so that is, of course, quite amazing. I think most people will feel that it won't crash as much, and that is going to be their uh, one of their video features with this new update and the, the new camera firmware. So if there's something specific you want me to go over, uh, then uh, uh, tell me that. Uh, so you can see here that it has um, should have some minor tweaks in uh, dialog buttons and everything. I think the buttons are a little bit bigger uh, than uh, in earlier versions of Android. And it feels like when I go out of apps that uh, it just closes uh, and open up quicker, uh, many things. A Geekbench should also be, be way better in terms of benchmark scoring, so we're probably going to take a look at that as well in the future. But uh, yeah, quick little look here, it's Android 4.3, the official uh, for uh, the Galaxy S4. So uh, it's going to come out to different regions right now when I'm doing this video, exactly on this day, when I'm doing this video, this second. Uh, it's only available in Germany and you can flash the firmware on either your GT i9505, which is my S4 variant, but uh, I think it also now came out for the Arctic variant of the S4, so that's definitely cool news. So, quick look.